Hey guys, I'm Simeon. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about overtraining and the mistakes that trainees of all levels make at one point or another that end up hurting their gains and diminishing the efficiency of their workout. Welcome back guys. The reason why I wanted to talk about overtraining today is because there are way too many misconceptions about how often you should work out. That's why I wanted to go over training every day, training twice a day, training for hours at a time, and finally I wanted to go over, over some of the symptoms of overtraining. But before we get any further, please do me a favor, scroll down, hit the little bell notification, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate everyone that takes the time to support my channel. Also, do me a favor and let me know in the comments if you've ever tried twice a day workouts or training every day for how long and what were the results. I'm curious to see about what your experiences were. But getting back to today's topic, many people believe that this topic of overtraining is relevant only for the hardcore gym rats like myself. That's not the case at all. In fact, I see a lot of new trainees that make some of the biggest mistakes when it comes to overtraining. And of course, the result is that it hurts their gains. What I'm talking about here is the enthusiasm of many people, especially in January, to get in shape. Very often, what ends up happening is that the New Year Resolution folks are really motivated to go to the gym every day. Now, can you work out every day? Sure you can. But should you train hard every day? Absolutely not. You see, there's a big difference between going for a 15 minute run or maybe doing some yoga on your day off and pushing heavy weights every single day of the week. The first one will help you strengthen your heart, get your blood flowing, help you stay flexible and help you recover faster for the next workout. The second one, meaning lifting heavy weights every day, will slow down your recovery, cut back on your progress and lead to all kinds of injuries. The reason why I mention this is because way too many people fall prey to the 30 day or 60 day or 90 day challenges that have you repeat the same workout every day. Here's the problem with those. Training is only one part of the equation. The second part is recovery and the excessive training will not get you the results faster if you cannot recover. You see the reason why a lot of professional athletes take steroids is because they want to be able to recover faster so they can train again at their maximum capacity. So when you hear professional athletes say that they train twice a day or three times a day, they're not lifting weights twice a day. Rather, they're practicing their sport, meaning that they're building muscle memory or practicing moves. And even then, many professional athletes, if not all, take steroids because it takes a long time to recover. Realistically speaking, if you train a muscle group hard, it will take up to 48 or even 72 hours for that muscle group to fully recover. So the focus on how many workouts you get in is totally misplaced. Instead, the focus should be how to structure your rest periods so your body can recover completely before you train that muscle group again. This leads me to the next topic. Very often, we believe that if one thing of something is good, then two would be better. Unfortunately, when it comes to workouts, that's not always the case. And here I want to specify that I'm not talking about a 15 or a 20 minute workout. I'm talking about a full blown hour long workout that will drain your body for the next 24 hours. Two workouts in one day essentially create the same problem of overtraining that I explained earlier. Of course, I'm not saying that you cannot do two workouts a day for a couple of weeks or maybe even a month without completely draining your battery. But I guarantee you that if you train that way without taking drugs, you will either stay at the same weights, meaning that you will not see progress, or you will lower the weights that you're lifting. Now, if you have the time, can you divide an hour long workout into two 30 minute sessions? Sure, but who's got the time for that? I mean, you have to go to the gym twice, you have to warm up twice, you have to take a shower twice. It's simply impractical for people with things to do. And on to my last point, which is training for hours on end. It seems like a badge of honor for many people to say that they train for three or four hours today. Unfortunately, what that tells someone like myself is that the person either didn't train hard enough, meaning that they talk too much, or they're overtraining and simply don't realize it. 
Since my very first video on this channel, I've told you that focus is power. If you're focused on the task at hand, keeping your pump going, and waiting just enough time to recover before you do your next set, then your workout will probably be between 45 and roughly 80 minutes. And of course, what it would depend on is which muscle group you're training. For example, legs and back will need a lot more sets than arms. Legs and back also require more force and as a result, perhaps longer resting periods. I generally do about 30 sets for legs per week, while I only do 20 sets per week for the arms. So those extra sets and slightly longer rest periods account for that difference between 45 and 80 minutes, but not three hours. In other words, what you cannot do and should not try to do is keep your, keep your pump going for three hours. Lifting weights and building fast twitch muscle fiber is not a one day endeavor. So don't, don't treat it as such. Transforming your body does not happen overnight. Instead, it takes consistency and time to naturally change your hormones and transform your body. So I talked a lot about overtraining, but a common question that I get is how do I know if I'm overtraining? Everyone is different when it comes to symptoms of overtraining, but the most obvious ones are chronic injuries, meaning that it seems like every other week you have another injury or two. And also decreased performance, meaning that you feel tired all the time or you're really weak when you work out. Of course, you can't say whether you're overtraining from just one bad workout. We all have good days and bad days. What I look at is my performance over a few weeks. If the weights that I'm lifting are going down consistently for a week or two, then I cut back on the workouts or rest for a whole week. That gives your body time to recover and adapt. So when I get back to the gym, I'm able to push hard again. All right, guys, that's all for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna take a moment and thank all of the new subscribers from this week. Welcome to the mTOR gang. I'm really glad that you joined. As always, to everyone that is not subscribed, please scroll down and subscribe. Thanks again and see you next week.